All right. Good evening. Thank you all for dialing in. I'm Liz Powell Dadzi, and this is. Hi, I'm Isaiah Dadzi. I'm China's son. We wanted to thank you all for participating in this program. It is the second annual Shauna M. Sorrell's grant program. So we're super excited to be going on to our second year. Um, we call this event the Opening Doors to Giving event, which hopefully um, will be obvious why uh, by the time we get to the end of the event, uh, we really wanna motivate people to give and um, donate to some great causes. So with that, we'd love to go to the next slide. And we wanted to share some um, information on Shauna M. Sorrell so you would understand why this award is so meaningful. So with that, we'd love to have Isaiah do that. Okay. Oh, thank you all for coming. Um, Shauna was my mom and she was really just a great person. She was always fun to be around, kind to, every, kind to everyone, no matter how much they could annoy her. She was really generous as well. And, she would always do the best to support me in my dreams and give me the best opportunities that she could so that I could succeed, as well as make time for me to have fun with her and the rest of my family. She, she gave a lot of her personal life to other people, doing what she could to give those less fortunate opportunities that she had through working at HUD, as well as um, a nonprofit in Montgomery County. We believe that we believe that she would really appreciate what we're doing here, and we and we want to continue on with her work, which is why we've chosen to create this event. Thank you. Next slide, please. Well, I'll just add a little bit before we go to the next slide. So, um, Shauna was brilliant. Um, just so talented in her career, um, as well as being an incredibly generous, kind person, both professionally and personally. Um, and we were so lucky that we got to um, have so many quality memories with her. Um, as you can see in these pictures, um, up at the top, we did a family trip to Ghana, which is where Isaiah's dad is from. Um, and so there's um, a lot of meaning behind these pictures and a lot of meaning um, to this award. Um, and we wanted to make sure that you understood the person that is the inspiration for this. Um, and it really does line up with those who are our finalists or semi-finalists or special recognition. You will see there's just so many wonderful synergies. Um, and uh, the one uh, thing I wanted to point out was that um, she is someone who really understood that family is what you make it. And she had a huge family of friends, of people, both professionally and personally. And um, she realized that community, um, what made a community was that family um, and defining that family. And so everything she did in her career um, was an extension of that. Um, so she was actually very successful um, as the national director of, of housing at the US Department of Housing and Urban Development. Um, very successful, rose up um, from an intern all the way up to the top, and then went on to do other great things, um, as Isaiah mentioned, at um, the Housing um, uh, Opportunities Commission for Montgomery County. Um, and so one of her colleagues, we'll go to the next slide now, uh, who's known Shauna for decades, uh, wanted to share a quote about her professional uh, success, because it's really a model for us as we um, announced today's award winners. So Shauna was a remarkably effective and highly regarded housing advocate and practitioner. She brought to her work skill, wisdom, expertise, and a deep commitment to housing the lowest income people. As she rose professionally, she sought opportunities to lift other women with her. So many were hired, promoted, mentored, or connected through Shauna and her generous way of wanting to bring opportunity to those around her. Shauna's positive impact radiates not only through family, friends, and coworkers, but also through the millions of low-income people whose lives were improved by her dedicated, brilliant work. Um, that's by Diane Yantel, who is the executive director of the National Low Income Housing Coalition um, and former colleague at HUD. And, you know, Shauna understood that housing was so basic and yet interconnected. And so she had worked on a lot of different initiatives to expand into health, STEM education, um, workforce training, um, access to jobs, like so many issues that tie into housing. So 
Anyway, with that, um, we are ready to move on um, to talk a little bit about um, updates from last year's winners. Uh, if we get to the next slide there, here we go. Here we go. So one of our finalists last year was Africa Matters. And we had asked for an update on what they did with the $1,000 grant that they got as a finalist. And so this gives you some highlights. Um, the She is Empowered program or She program served 20 adolescent girls and young women, 16 are implementing community impact programs in a number of countries. As you can see, the list there spans from South Africa to South Sudan. The SHE team had a meet and greet networking session with all their mentors and mentees and received We Are The Ones We Have Been Waiting For shirts and seed funding of $120 to support their community projects. Um, they are still looking for donations though, and we always want to support giving. So if people are inclined to make donations, there's the website and we will send out the slides after um, if that's helpful for people. And I know while we're going through this, um, uh, Andrea and our team is going to be posting links um, and, and information for you to be able to click to. So um, next slide, please. SciTech to you is the other finalist. Um, they are great uh, STEM education program. And um, since receiving the 1000 grant award last year, they conducted the 2021 STEM Fest during engineering week uh, in February. They had 33 students in four states and DC participating. They made kits and distributed them to students so they could learn all these awesome things, how motors work, how energy is transformed, how to conserve energy all kinds of things. They too welcome donations. So we wanted to make sure we put that donation link as well. And the next slide, please. And our grand prize winner for three sisters. So we would love to hear from Shannon from the organization. They've done some great things um, over the past year. Thank you. Hi, well, thanks for having me back. Um, it has been an extraordinary honor to be the first annual Shauna M. Sorrell's uh, grant winner. We did extraordinary things and continue to do extraordinary things with, um, with that grant and everything that came from it. We split the grant into two projects. The first project was our Road to Resources program, and that program um, provides financial support and case management services to people who have been affected by breast cancer. And then the other half of the grant money went into our Power of One uh, program for a very special project. And to understand more about that project, Four Three Sisters was started by my husband and I. He is a retired firefighter and he lost three sisters to breast cancer while he was on the job. And his shift mates were so proud of his efforts that they surprised him with pink firefighting gear in front of the media and they started calling them the pink firemen. Shortly after that, we started Four Three Sisters and our programs and about 10 years, we're celebrating 10 years uh, in the community, we decided our pink firemen needed a pink fire truck. And so with half of the grant money, we were able to use this to get an engine that we had been keeping an our, our eye on a uh, roadworthy so that we could actually take this big, beautiful pink fire engine uh, into the community to raise awareness about breast cancer, to show support to breast cancer survivors, fighters, and their families, to partner with mobile mammography units to get into low income under resourced communities, which are often communities of color, to get breast health information and mammograms for these men and women and people in those communities, as well as to provide celebratory rides to people who are finishing their final day of treatment. We have done since June, she COVID, um, COVID kind of put a, a damper on things for a little bit, but once we got her up and transformed, we have done uh, almost 40 events, uh, a variety of events, but 40 events in the community since June with Vicki. We named her Vicki after the first sister to be diagnosed with breast cancer and the first sister to earn her wings from breast cancer. The other thing we did with the other half of the grant money was for our Road to Resources program. And we helped several women who were either in treatment for breast cancer or in survivorship with a variety of needs. But the most significant and the one that resonates the most with me uh, and Shauna's uh, mission in her life was a woman, a young woman who was homeless when she was referred to us. She was 
teetering on a terminal breast cancer diagnosis, but because she was homeless and she was too sick uh, to undergo the surgery she needed to start treatment, she couldn't be treated. And so with the grant money, we were able to get her into an apartment. We were able to keep her in her apartment. We were able to put food in her house. We were able to set her up with something comfortable and safe uh, living environment in her apartment. We were able to get her healthy enough for her surgery. She completed her treatment uh, up through um, through her surgery and, and the first portion of her treatment. She is still in a home. She now has a, a small income and she is thriving and she is able to do this because of the support from the Shauna M. Sorrells grant. So that's just a little bit of the big things that we've done with the grand prize money and we couldn't be more grateful. So thank you on behalf of 4-3 Sisters and the men and women and the people that we serve for gracing us and allowing us to use this money to do great in the community. Thank you so much. That was an amazing update. Um, so at the bottom here, you can see these folks even got on the Today Show. Um, and I don't know if there's a way to, Andrew, or maybe, or Margaret, to cut and paste that link into the chat box so people can click it themselves. This is an awesome fire truck, and it was such a great story. Um, just an amazing, amazing story. And the, the linkage, um, not only is because it's an awesome organization doing great things, but actually Shauna's mom died young from breast cancer. So um, there's even that connection as well. Um, so thank you so much for the great work that you're doing, really making a difference. We love to see that. Um, and, uh, and we appreciate your keeping in touch with us too. We wanna see how things uh, work out for folks. So thank you for that. Um, I think you can go next slide. Um, I think it's really cool how you guys use that money. And I'm really, I'm really happy that you're able to do good work with it. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So for this year, 2021, the second annual Shauna M. Sorrell's um, award program, we had wonderful submissions from amazing organizations. So we put together these slides, these next few slides, just to show you um, some of the different organizations ranging from health to education to housing, lots of housing organizations, immigration, um, domestic violence. Um, trafficking, uh, workforce training, um, so many wonderful causes here. Um, so we just wanted to make sure that we were calling all of you out for making such great submissions and all the great work that you do. Um, and then the next slide shows some special recognition. So this year we created a special recognition category because we had so many great um, applicants. And so we have Zora's House, Vicara Village, Beautitude House Ministries, Career Catchers, Alta Behavioral Healthcare, Girlita Family Recovery Program. And you can see all the links are there. And as I said, we will send out the slides if you wanted to learn more about these great organizations. We wanted to just give an extra shout out because we were super impressed with the work that they're doing. Um, next slide, please. So, these are the semifinalists that we had for this year's Sean M. Sorrell's Grant Award. Um, the Central Community House was Central Community House, Somali America, Armenta Freedom Initiative, um, Girls Live, Love, Laugh, um, the, the, Kelly, the Kelly Lynn McDonald Foundation and Women's Housing Coalition were the semifinalists that we had for this year. Next slide. And these are our three finalists. The Haven Home Foundation, which helps homeless, homeless people get into housing, especially women and minorities. Suited for Change, which helps, which helps women gain jobs, gain stable jobs and find work. And Seeds of Literacy, which works to educate young, educate young children so that they could thrive in the future. And to present our winner, next slide. Okay. Seeds of literacy. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, oh, we were supposed to have we all three talk. Whoops, we messed that up. Um, all right. So why don't we hear from Seeds of Literacy first? And congratulations on winning. And then we'd love to hear from each of the finalists. Okay, fantastic. Um, so first, uh, 
Sheesh, looking at all these amazing organizations. We were so excited to even be a part of this and now to know that we've won, that's, that's amazing. Um, we are um, we are in Cleveland, Ohio, where 66% of adults are considered functionally illiterate, meaning that they struggle with simple tasks, re reading information, um, reading bus schedules, following their prescriptions properly, um, helping their children with their homework, being able to read their Bibles for themselves, all kinds of challenges. Um, our, our organization was actually founded by the Congregation of St. Joseph in 1997 in response to this need, um, the literacy needs in parents, as they celebrated their 125 years of service to the Diocese of Cleveland. And then we became a 501c3 in 2005. We provide free personalized education to empower adults to thrive in their community. So we do this by providing one-to-one -one tutoring for over a thousand adults every single year. Um, our students are anywhere from beginning readers who are just learning to read to those who are aspiring to earn a high school equivalency credential like a GED so that they can get jobs that will help them support their families. Um, we do this with the help of over 250 volunteer tutors who donate their time um, and an incredibly wonderful but small staff. 98% um, of the students that we serve live below the federal poverty level and they are the people that our education system has left behind. So we are their second chance to accomplish their academic goals. Um, and what we want to do with our gift is honor Ms. Sorrell's memory. Um, the education that we provide our students helps them to pursue the employment that allows them to provide for their children and to pursue higher education so that they can climb higher in their careers of choice. Um, when we first heard about this, uh, my coworkers and I um, Googled <laughs> Ms. Sorrell's because we wanted to know our story. And she definitely put a high premium on education and was in the last phases of earning her doctorate. And for me, that just, it, it sat with me for, for the whole entire time. I just kept thinking of her and that accomplishment and how much work and sacrifice goes into it. And it just broke my heart to read that she transitioned before she was able to complete it. But what we plan to do is to help other adults pursue their dreams and goals by providing a solid educational foundation that our K-12 system didn't provide them and then helping them transition to post-secondary education and training. Our students make us proud every day. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> But um, we hope that we and that our students can make her and her family proud as well. Um, Isaiah, you're so impressive. I, I wish that we had some of our students on this call so they could see you. Uh, but thank you so, so very much. Thank, thank you as well. And congr congratulations on winning again. I'm really looking forward to see what you guys will do and see how you guys will help your community. Awesome. Amazing. Amazing. So we, we reversed the order. Sorry about that. But we would love to hear from the other two organizations. So Liz, would you mind sharing some some thoughts from Suited for Change? Sure. Make me go after those two fabulous speakers. <laughs> Thank you very much for having us. Um, I am really so impressed with both of the organizations that I just heard about. Shannon, how cool. <laughs> how cool. So I'm, I'm very proud to be as a part of this crowd. Uh, Suited for Change is a very small but mighty organization that has been serving the Washington, D.C. area since 1992. We provide professional clothing for women who are re-entering or entering for the first time the workplace because of some transitional circumstances that they might have found themselves in. And we use clothing as a tool to help them see themselves in a different way. They come to us with a referral from a referral partner and they are given uh, interview appropriate clothing, which makes them look at themselves in a different way. At that point, they're offered some uh, mentoring. We started this year mentoring and suiting by Zoom. We continued straight through the pandem pandemic without quitting. So women are offered one-on-one -on -one mentoring that will help them get that job that they need to get to the next step in their lives. So I am honored to have been invited to this and grateful to be in such great company. Um, Isaiah, you are a very impressive young man. Thanks. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. And I'm really impressed by your by all the organizations really, but I, I really hope that you guys can succeed with what you do as well. Right. And we'd love to hear from Cindy with the Haven Home. 
Well, good evening, everyone. And uh, like everyone else has already mentioned, uh, we appreciate the, the opportunity to be a part of this program. Um, I had read, I think last year I had seen something about uh, the Shauna Sorrell's grant award, but it was past the time I may have seen when the award was done. And and I and I thought, you know, this is this, this is really great because so often the you know it's a large foundation or something that's doing um, a grant for bigger bigger organizations, and this was an opportunity for smaller organizations or newer organizations to really get get some assistance and. And what a great lineup of people and you know organizations that that you're supporting you know, either just as a highlight or in the finalists. Um, Shannon, amazing work there, um, Carmen. Congratulations. So um, just briefly, the Haven Home, as you heard, we provide shelter for women and children experiencing homelessness, and and we're what's called an overflow shelter, which means we're the waiting room for shelter because all the family shelters are full in Cuyahoga County. And unlike a lot of other counties, they have a no turn away policy. So regardless of how much um, actual space is available, if someone needs shelter, the county has an obligation to find them shelter. So for families, we're, we're that space. Um, we've got one empty room right now. <laughs> so um, we, we are very often full. Um, families stay with us um, anywhere from one week to five weeks, depending on how many other families are in shelter, their shelter size, or excuse me, their family size. And, uh, you know, while they're there, like our goal is that they leave out better than they came in. And sometimes that's, that's something for us as simple as, you know, maybe mom's fleeing domestic violence, she's got all of her clothes in a garbage bag. But when she leaves, she's gonna have a nice rolling suitcase, kids are gonna have book bags, they're gonna have a nice clothes. And, you know, and so because we're not at the, we don't provide the actual housing services for them. We have we we try to meet that immediate basic need and, and to kind of give them a place to wind down from that trauma of yesterday they had somewhere to live. When they come to us, they don't. And so that's very traumatic for, for the women and the children. And, and so we try to provide, like I said, a fun, caring, compassionate atmosphere for them. Thank you for thank you all for presenting and I'm really really proud of all or I'm really glad that all these organizations exist to help better people's lives and I wish you all luck in your endeavors. And our finalists each get a thousand dollars, so you are winners too. Yay! Yep. Your winners too, um, and so we will we will send you that um, before the end of the year. And we want to keep in touch with you. We want to know how things are going. We like to get updates. Um, Shannon and I kept in great touch um, over this whole past year, which was wonderful. And um, just so impressed with all that you're doing. You really are making a difference in the world. And um, we think so many of you are doing so that we're doing something new this year. So we'll go to the next slide. So for our semifinalists, any donation that's made from 4.30 today through noon Friday, we will match up to $500 per organization. So if anyone listening now, your friends, uh, just get them to donate. And we are posting in the chat box, we should be posting in the chat box all their links. So you can do it now. You can tell your friends. It doesn't matter if it's $5, $10. Every little bit matters. And so we're really just trying to encourage folks to Keep making a difference. Keep donating, um, and uh, and thank you again for all the amazing, amazing work that you're doing. Um, it's you know, Shauna was an amazing person, amazing role model, and um, it's wonderful to see all these organizations out there carrying out um, her life's work. Um, and we just can't thank you enough for all that you're doing um, to make a difference in the world. It really it matters, and and. As Cindy was saying, we, we're for the little guys. That's why we created this. It's for the smaller organizations where, you know, $1,000, $10,000 really can make an impact. And so thank you for all, all that you do. You're not alone. We're here to help. Um, and um, we want to be a resource to you, you know, throughout the year forever. We consider you part of the Shauna M. Sorrell's family now. So um, with that, um, let's go to the next slide, please. We're almost done here. So these are a couple of quotes from Shauna. 
that I love. So I wanted to share, um, make a difference in your community. Can't say it better than that. That's pretty much, you know, nail on head. Um, this life is all there is. Make the most of it. Give, get, be. Give more than you get. Get what you need. Be happy. Beautiful, beautiful words um, of Shauna. So I just thought that those were nice things to carry with us today. And then the last slide gives you information going forward. So every January, we like to do a webinar um, to explain the sort of tips and insights on how best to win the Shauna M. Sorrells Award. Um, so we encourage you to dial in for that. We will also email you the information, but um, we also regularly work with nonprofits trying to help them access grants and other things. So if we can be resource for you with that, of course, we, we would love to be. Um, and if you didn't win this year, please apply again next year um, and, uh, and keep doing an amazing job. And I don't know if you had any final thoughts? Um, nothing that you didn't say. I believe <laughs> all of your organizations really make the world a better place. And like you said, just keep doing an amazing job. All right. With that, Thank I think you. it's a wrap. Yeah. Thank, Thank you all. all. Congratulations. Bye-bye. Have a good night. And hope you all have a good night. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.